show you from this angle. Show you one more time. I am Mick Crossland, I'm the head coach down here at the Combat Academy. We're doing some drills today for Warrior Collective. I'm going to be working with my fighter, Tommy Crossland. Tommy's a professional K1 fighter. We're going to be doing some demonstrations today looking at uh, how to use what we call the long guard. So there's different variations of the long guard. There's the Thai long guard, which is um, more compact, more aimed at getting inside boxing and establishing clinch and elbow attacks. This is more like a boxing, kickboxing long guard, which is more just about creating distance and space. So we don't have to cover all the head, you don't have to compact as much, uh, but the principle is the same. If me and Tommy were fighting and I were advancing and he stuck his, head, his hand out, I'd retreat, that would get a reaction. Okay? So um, what we're trying to do is that little pause where we, we stick the arm out to create the space that we need. Okay? So we'll show you a few different examples. One of the ways it can be used is to an oncoming attacker uh, and we drill this in a couple of ways. So the first one is literally as if, if I were to hold the pads to show you, I hold the pads like this so we get some tension between both of us. But it literally if the advancing opponent comes forward, he's just going to stick his arm out just to create a pause. If I were attacking and he stuck his arm out, I'd pause for that split second, okay? So the first one is he just sticks his arm straight out into long guard. The second one, if it's a Russian attacker, we can uh, uh, retreat, so this is like a retreating long guard. And then the third one is where we change the angle, so we pivot off, okay? So as an attacker comes forward, sometimes you can step and spin off. If you mix that with a long guard, it creates the room that you need for the counter that might follow, okay? So this is with a pivot, okay? So we do that. Uh, in those three ways and drill it over and over again and maybe put a counter on top so I'll show you how we might teach this on the pads. So we're moving around and first of all we've just got the normal long guard, stop, and then the retreating long guard and then the pivoting long guard. And I'll show you those from the new position. So he's just going to stop me dead, then he's going to retreat with it and then finally he's going to spin out to the side with it. Okay, create an angle. So what we'd want to do at that point is quickly follow up with a counter, okay? So to keep it simple, we're just going to do a hand to leg combination, okay? So whichever, if he sees a hook, he's going to go left up right kick. If he sees for a straight right, he's going to go straight right to left kick, okay? So we've got um, the normal long guard. Then we've got a retreating long guard. And then finally, we've got the pivot and we're just going to put a kick on the end of this one. Okay, so I'll show you all three of those again. We've got the normal long guard. Retreating long guard. And again, it can be any hand or leg to set up the combo. And then we've got the pivot where we're going to have a kick. Okay, so we're putting all those three together. So that's one great way of using the long guard. There's also a few other things that we do. Um, sometimes we can sign off a combination with the long guard. It creates space and a pause, and that little pause gives us that split second to hold his opponent still, where we will either decide to attack on top or to exit out of the exchange. Uh, so for instance, if Tommy was to use a combo to set up his right leg, so say he went left jab, left up, right low kick. From the low kick, a normal response would be as he kicks me for me to try and come in then and box on top. Okay? If Tommy goes straight to the long guard from the kick, I'm going to pause. That creates the space he needs. He can either attack on top or exit off. What we'll do with this combination, we'll attack on top. He's going to go the, over, the right overhand into a left body kick. Okay? So he's going left jab, left up, low kick, long guard, right overhand to left body kick. So we'll do that a few times. from this angle. I'll show you one more time. So that's a great way of using it after an attack to create space and to set up a second phase of your attack. Uh, another thing we can do is when we're driving forward. Okay, So when we're driving forward and we want to keep space to hit, um, the long guard's great for that as well. So what we're going to do is a double right hand and show you 
how we would use the long guard for additional space to line up the second right hand. So he's going to go a long range power right hand and he's going to skip forward with a little middle step and as he skips forward he projects that long guard to keep the space between him and, him and his opponent. So it looks like this. Angle. Okay, so we can use it off the cross. And then one of the ways when you can combine the long guard with like a stiff arm, okay, so you can actually use the arm to run your opponent back. So, for instance, if I were to do uh, two shots to a kick and go straight to the long guard, if you can get the long guard on the head or when we drill it on the pads, you do it on the shoulder or the chest, this works into the guard or anything. As long as you can get some traction with the palm, against your opponent's body, you can use that traction and then run them back. When we run them back with the long guard, what I'm aiming to do is, I'm going to use my hips, because what I don't want to do is push with my arm, okay? You can push all day and not move a strong fighter, and even if you move them, you're wasting a lot of energy. We use momentum by pushing with his legs and his hips like this, so that my feet are in better position. So, in this example, we're going to go two straight punches to a body kick. And from the rotation of the body kick, it goes straight to the long guard into the shoulder, okay? And what's really important is, is as that leg goes down, the long guard goes out because I'm, I'm filling a gap, okay? So if I kick him, that's the gap where he would counter. So it must be in that gap. So as this leg comes back, that goes there, okay? And from there, I can steer him back and we're going to kick him again, this time with a high kick, okay? So he's going two straight punches. The gap with the long guard, nudging me back, I kick on top. So we'll show you using the long guard with a stiff arm to run him back as well. So that looks like this. I'll show you from this angle. We need to be quick from the leg to the long guard. I'll show you one more time. And there are different variations of the using the long guard uh, in a K1 kickboxing scenario. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found those drills useful. And thank you to the Warrior Collective for featuring us today. If you want to find out more about the type of training we do or as, what as fighters get up to, check us out on the combatacademy.org.uk or find us on Facebook. Thank you very much.